Good day dear friends. Having a kink tubing or a twisted tubing can create a kind of torque that can make surgery slightly difficult. The presence of torque in the tubings will impart a sense of discomfort while performing the tactile movements during phaco emulsification. This torque is appreciated more in thinner hand pieces like the coaxial IA and the bimanual IA. Now how do we know if there is a torque in the tubing? There is a simple test. So when we hold the phaco handpiece in a pen-like grip between thumb and index finger with the aspiration port facing upwards and when you slightly relax the grip on the handpiece it rotates which means that there is a torque. Carefully observe the handpiece as I relax the grip. You see how the handpiece is auto-rotating. I am not rotating this coaxial IA probe at all. So you just take a hold of it in the correct position with the aspiration port facing up and when the grip is relaxed, there is an auto-rotation of the handpiece. Now this means that there is torque. Now how does this torque develop? Well, the first important step is that you have to hold the handpiece in the correct orientation before you attach the tubings. Now you see that in this particular case, the handpiece is facing in the wrong direction and the orientation is incorrect and if you attach the tubings in this position and then write the handpiece and then hold it, then it can generate a torque. Now this is the irrigation line and the tubing and you will notice that while connecting the aspiration line, I have not bothered to remove the kinks from the tubing. And that is why when I relax my grip, there is an auto-rotation of the coaxial IA. Now this is going to create a lot of problems while I try to maneuver the probe within the eye. And the most important thing is to first notice and remove all the kinks from the tubing and all the abnormal twisting of the tubing. The three steps to take out the top. Make sure tubings are not kinked or twisted. Orient the handpiece correctly before connecting. And thirdly, attach the tubing with a firm push. Do not apply screwing or rotatory movements unless the adapter itself is a screw type of adapter. The irrigation line has a screw type of adapter. Now this screw type of adapter will prevent the buildup of torque as the screwing motion will not induce any kink in the irrigation tubing. However, the aspiration line has a direct attachment. It should be slid in with a firm push. Do not apply screwing or rotatory movements while attaching this as it will cause kinking of the tubing. Now let's go through the whole process again. So let's start with attaching the irrigation line. This is a screw type it is gently screwed into position. Make sure that there are no kinks in the tubing, either the irrigation or the aspiration line. Orient the handpiece correctly and then attach the aspiration line with a firm push and without making any screw type of motion. Now hold the handpiece in your normal pen grip with the aspiration line facing up and when you release the grip you find that there is no rotatory movement of the handpiece. This means that there is no torque and you are good to go.